Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Erin with Sassy Beauty Budgets. Thank you all for taking your time out for another video. Thank you, thank you, thank you. My existing subscribers, my new subscribers, I can't thank you guys enough. We are almost at 1,000 subscribers and that is because of you guys, so cheers to you all. If you're new to this channel, on this channel, we focus on saving challenges, sinking funds, getting out of debt, and of course, living our best life on a budget. If you're interested in this type of content, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and let's get started. All right, so today I am cash stuffing $682. If you guys watch my last video, you know that I um, finish my magically mini. So I am rolling that money into today's cash stuffing and $314 of the money is going towards my 100 envelope challenge. All right. So let's get started. So I have 51, 150, 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60. So 360, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 1, 110, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17. All right, so 682. So how are you guys doing? Are you guys staying warm? It is an Arctic um, freeze out here. Um, I was watching Frugality is Life and Fiona was saying up in Canada, she was walking around like a popsicle. So Fiona, shout out to you. We do feel your pain here in the States. It has been cold and they're saying that next week it's supposed to warm up. Well, I can't wait for the warm up because it is freezing. It just hurts to even go outside right now. The wind is blowing. Um, so you know, I guess we should all stay warm. All right, so first thing that I'm going to be cash stuffing is my 100 envelope. And the first one is going to be $70. So 50, 70. 70. Okay, put that in here. Next is 99, so 50, 70, 90, 95, 96, 97, 98, and 99. So 50, 70, 90, 95, 96, 97, 98, and 99. Next is 95, so 50, 70, 90, and five. Or well, actually with the 95, I should be adding three dollars because I think I'm rounding up. All right, and then a 50. So 20, 40, and 50, 20, 40, 50. All right. All right, so here are our, all of our envelopes that we just stuffed. So let's just mark off our progress. All right, so we did 70, we did 99, We did 95 and we did 50. Okay. So if you see here, that is our progress so far and I am really excited about that. Gonna put that to the side. So shout out to budgeting just because um, someday, um, this week, actually, 
she came up on her community post. If you haven't subscribed to her, please do. And basically anyone who is close to a thousand uh, subscribers or even if you're over a thousand subscribers and need watch hours, she is partnering us with different people and basically we have to watch their playlists. So I had the pleasure of being partnered with Budgeting Fairy and her content is pretty amazing. If you haven't subscribed to her, it's at The Budgeting Fairy. She does uh, saving challenges, but she is like a pro at the Penny um, Savings Challenge. So please um, check out her channel. Um, Fiona Frugality is Life. She needs some watch hours. Basically, it doesn't matter if you have a thousand or more um, subscribers, the watch hours is required if you want to be monetized. So, um, just because someone has a lot of hours, I mean, a lot of subscribers doesn't necessarily mean that they are monetized. All right. So 52 week today, we are adding $16. So 10, 15 and 16. And let's see how much we have now. So 10, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, and 40. All right, so this is coming along nicely. Pretty happy about that. 26 week challenge is going to get $12. And let me just write that in. So 12. And now we have 10, 15, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, and 29. Is that right? 10, 15, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Yes, it should be $30. All right. And my $5 savings challenge. Let's just put our five in here. And then $10 savings challenge. So 10, 20, 30, 40 in here. And then 15, we're going to add 10 and five. Okay. So now I have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 dollars. Okay, stick that in there. And then the $20 savings challenge. I have 20, 40, 60, and 80. All right, and that is good for this binder. Okay, put that there. Next, I am going to finish out Jasmine's wallet. And today I am putting in $55 and that will conclude this until February. So 20, 40, 50, and five. Okay, so now in this challenge, we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. All right. Why are my binders keep falling? Okay. All right. So put that in here. All right, and that is done. So you guys know that my no spend literally just went out the window. I did get some stuff from 
quite a few shops and I think for February or once everything comes in, I think we are going to be good to go. So then I can really concentrate maybe not on a no spend, but maybe a low spend. All right, so we're adding 25 to this. All right, and this is from Batty in the Bag. And I have 20, 40, 60, 70, 75. All right, and that is coming along nicely. All right, moving right along, let's go to our 3K. And with this one, I am adding 20, no, actually $35. So we are doing five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. So 20, 30, and five. And now, I have 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Sixty dollars and we are moving right along. All right. Okay. And next is Princess Budgets. So this week I am adding 35 dollars all right so 35 let's see where is my other 35 let's see 45 I see it okay here he is here we are 35. 20, 30, 35. So I don't know if you guys watch um, like Chicago PD, Chicago, Chicago Fire, uh, Chicago Med, but I, out of all of the three, out of the three, I prefer Chicago PD. And crazy story, we were actually in Chicago one year and beautiful city, it is the Windy City for sure. And you know, it was late at night, we went back to the hotel and we're just kind of like channel surfing, you know, and I saw um, Chicago Fire and I really wasn't, like the first episode did not capture me like I thought it would. Like you have to capture me like the first couple of episodes for me to be hooked. And I was just like, okay. And then Chicago PD came on afterwards and I'm like, oh my gosh, this is really an amazing show. So I remember when we got home, I wanted to kind of like know the backstory of Chicago PD. Um, emergency fund, we're adding 25. And from that, I actually subscribed to Peacock. One, two, three, four, five. So we ended up subscribing to Peacock just to watch Chicago PD. And I have been hooked ever since. So love that show. And you guys are pretty aware that there was a, a strike. So it was like nothing but reruns, but all the shows are back and I am ecstatic. So Emergency Fund has 1,000 in the bank and we have 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, and 90. All right, moving right along. So all the shows are back. Law and Order, Organized Crime is back. So I am ecstatic. All right, debt is getting $10. And um, this envelope here, once it reaches 500, I am making one big payment towards Ikea.
that is part of um, the debt that we are working on next. So I have 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 300, 305. All right, we are getting there slowly but surely. And um, yeah. All right, unexpected, nothing, month ahead. So there is a $1,000 placeholder in here. Um, so I think last cash stuffing, there was $1,010. So I left the 10 in here, uh, deposited the 1,000 in the bank, and basically we're going to build it up for another um, $1,000. So now we have 1,000, 10, and 20. And this placeholder was a freebie. I just added this sticker to it. So there you have it. All right, investment is getting $5. So I'm going to, let me make some change. So five, 10, 15, 20. Grab a 20. And then investment is getting five. So now investment has 20, 40, 60, 81, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95. All right, moving right along. Okay. And electronics, nothing. And that is it for this binder. All right, next I am going to be cash stuffing car maintenance. I am going to need an oil change soon. So I definitely, I'm not due, but I will be. So we are adding $10. So now car maintenance has 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 65, 67, 68. $68 and my oil change is like 80 something dollars, but it's so worth it because when you're driving um, a long distance, you know, back and forth to work, um, you definitely have to, um, you know, get the oil change that has the better mileage. Okay. So I can probably condense something here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, five, 10, 15, 20. Grab a 20. And okay. All right, and vacation is getting 25. And now vacation has 100, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 10, 20, 30, 40, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. So the last time I told you guys about the story um, when we were overseas, well, I have another story for you guys. So if anyone is from the Tennessee area, so we went to Nashville. My husband was like dying to go a big, I wouldn't say like he's a big country fan, but he appreciates country music. Okay, so we go to Nashville because, um, at the time that we went, it was like Nashville is like the new like Las Vegas. So um, a woman that I work with, she was saying how, oh my gosh, if you're going to Nashville, you have to go to the Loveless Cafe. So, and she's like, the Loveless Cafe, you know, it's like a landmark, you know, Queen Elizabeth has eaten there. I'm like, listen, if it's good enough for the queen, listen, it is good enough for us. So we stayed at the Marriott towards the end of the strip. 
Um, anytime we go on vacation when we're visiting a big city, just to cut back on expenses and renting a car, we like to be right in the center of action. So anyhow, so I go in my Uber and um, I'm looking, it's like 20 minutes for the next Uber driver and it's like $22 to get to Lovis Cafe. So we have 20, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, and 50, okay? So I'm like, oh, this was like 10.30 in the morning. I'm hungry, my husband's hungry. And I'm like, oh my gosh, do we really wanna wait like that long to, you know, have breakfast? So beauty is getting 10. So I we leave the hotel and I see these green taxi cabs and I'm like, hi, um, can you tell me how much it is to go to Loveless Cafe? So I have 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 16, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 22 23, 24, and 25. And he's like, oh, it's $15. I'm like, $15? Well, honey, get in. That's perfect because Uber was $22. So we're driving to Loveless Cafe and literally it is in the middle of nowhere. And I'm like, oh my gosh, okay. So we get to the Loveless Cafe and the Loveless Cafe, if you've been there, it's the Loveless Cafe, it's the country store and then there's a gas station. So we pull up and the guy says to me, um, it's 50. I'm like, 50, you told me $15. And he goes, no, I told you 50. So of course, we're not from the area, so what are we gonna do? So I just give the guy the $50 because I really don't want any issues. We're, you know, first time visiting. And um, so I give him 50, my husband just like, he, he just steps out because he's like, listen, this is just not worth it, okay? So I added five, so 20, 30, 40, 45. And so I get out and I go to Lovis Cafe. I'm like, hi, can I get a table for two? They're like, um, it's an hour and 45 minute wait. I'm like, are you kidding me? We just spent 50 bucks. Now we have an hour and 45 minutes before we can even you know, get a table. So I'm like, okay, so we're here, whatever. So. My husband has a headache because he needs coffee. So we go into the country store. He has a cup of coffee, um, a chocolate chip cookie. And I'm just like, you know what? I mean, since we have all this time to kill, why don't I get a biscuit from the country store? So I'm like, hi, can I order biscuits? She's like, well, we don't make the biscuits here. You can go next door to the gas station at the drive-thru. I was so done. I was right back on Uber. Okay, Uber came, she felt so bad. She was like, oh my gosh, you guys should have called the cops. You guys shouldn't have paid. But again, when you're in a different city, you know, you don't know what is going on. So travel, I just added five. So it's 50, 70, 90, 110, 15, 16, 17, and 18. So you just don't know. So then she took us to um, a town, it was, right before Nashville and we had one of the best breakfasts ever and lesson learned it was $22 and you know so love Nashville we had an amazing amazing time one thing about Nashville I would have to say the Kid Rock um, bar was by far the busiest uh, Jason Aldean also and um, there was this um, fried chicken place. I think it was, uh, I will put it up on the screen, but that line was wrapped around the corner and they have like a really cool like uh, food court, um, but definitely the talent, the singing. Um, one thing that I did find interesting is you. there's no fee to go into the bars, but they do encourage you to tip so someone does come and you know, passes a bucket around. So we definitely wanna go back to Nashville. We loved it, we had an awesome time. But my takeaway from this, sometimes it is better to stick with Uber than taxi cabs because you can kinda like get a price, what they're charging, and keep it moving. All right, so Tola Cheese has 
10, 15, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, and 35. So I need to get some stuff. So I am taking this out and that will conclude this video. All right, so thank you all for taking your time out and thank you guys so much. But um, every time like I am stuffing like the vacation um, folder, it's just like, you know what? Um, just, you know, wanna tell you guys a few things. And like I said, um, Nashville was pretty awesome. And when we went, it was kind of like around the COVID time. So um, yeah. All right, so thank you all again, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.